All right, what's up YouTube? This is FJ. And today I wanted to do a quick kind of introduction review to TIJN Eyewear. Uh, they actually approached me not too long ago, maybe over a month ago after they saw my uh, clearly.ca and kits.ca haul video on YouTube here. So they approached me to see if we could do a collaboration video where they would send me a couple samples and I would get to, I guess, make a video, like a haul video for them. Um, they only sent me two, so it's not quite a haul, I don't think, when it's only two glasses. But um, they offered to send me uh, like a regular pair of frame, uh, regular pair of frames. Is that how you say it? And uh, a blue light, uh, blue light frames. Um, and I got to choose from this bestseller selection that they had here on their website, uh, TIJ and eyewear.com um, but I wear glasses on the regular and I need them to be prescription otherwise I wouldn't be able to see if I wore them so I did ask them can you make them prescription so they do have the ability to make prescription glasses too on their web um, when you order um, so then we finally uh, agreed that they would send me two regular frames uh, prescription glasses none of them are blue light um, but yeah that's what we agreed to. So they have a Instagram as well, TIJ and Eyewear. Uh, their hashtag there is life is art. And it's it's very impressive. Like their Instagram, social media following, they've already have 335,000 followers. Um, they seem to have a number of uh, like influencers and other um, like social media um, personalities that endorse their glasses. Um, I'm just going to go out and say that I do think they're in, based in China, based on when the package actually arrived. It had like one of those white bubble envelope wraps and it, uh, don't remember exactly where it came from, but definitely had this, this, this vibe that it was coming from China. It took over a month to get here. They did say it would take, um, anywhere between 15 to 25 days to arrive, I'm guessing that's 15 to 25 business days because yeah, it took over a month to arrive here. I've had them for about a, uh, a week to wear them and to test them out before I made this video. Um, but I'll show you guys what I ordered again. So this is their collections, uh, their best sellers. The, the two that I ordered were on this part of their website before, but they're not anymore. Um, but I ordered this Debria cream blue, um, and the Dahlia Whiskey Tortoise. Tortoise. Uh, so it's hard to kind of tell sizing um, on their website. I, I basically chose the ones that I thought were the most kind of masculine or something that would suit me or my style because I do like thicker um, uh, plastic frame glasses where there's no um, nose pieces, nose rests, as I mentioned in my other clearly.ca haul uh, kits video. Um, so when I was scrolling through, it gives me off. It gives off the vibe that it's mainly more so uh, targeted for f a female uh, uh, consumer base, female buyers. Um, I mean, I'm, th th this is pretty cool, Thomas. I mean, when you hover over it, it has a, a girl in, in the in the video, but Thomas, I could see, could still go on like on a on a on a male. Um, and when you go to their Instagram page, they do have a couple of ads where it's it's male, male models there. Um, this guy was the recent one too. I guess this is, yeah, this is the collaboration with Ando San. So that's, that's cool. It's a good look. But for me, I went with um, Debria here and Delia. So guys, when they arrive, they come in these boxes again this is all wrapped up together but they come in these tijn boxes it says life is art it doesn't really have much other labeling there besides not gonna focus probably not there we go tij has their instagram and their website on the side of the box um when you open the box kind of like an unboxing i already opened these before but i kind of wanted you guys to experience that so you've got their tagline there on Instagram and it comes with 
this, I guess, leather. This isn't going to focus, is it? Let's see. Ooh. Sorry, guys. It's looking for my face. There we go. T-I-J-N branding on the plastic leather pleather. It just flips up like this. So this first one is the debris that I showed you guys earlier. So it looks pretty cool. Again, you can see there that the prescription bigger than I thought they were going to be. So there's a lot of real estate, which I which I appreciate. I, I like having not having to see the frame when I'm working. So this would probably serve as a really nice pair of glasses to wear at the desk. Um, or if I'm working on something on the computer, uh, it's very lightweight. And, you know, with the concern also that it was, you know, coming from China and then you uh, you you worry about quality, it's it's actually quite nice. Like the the hinges are pretty rigid they're not like loose fitting and um flimsy the lens is uh sorry the frame themselves they're not they're not flimsy by any means i wouldn't use that word flimsy at all they're pretty rigid um compared to clearly and kits.ca clearly.ca and kits.ca i'd say the most rigid felt from kits the i, I bought the kits brand for, um for the free pair the free first pair that you get from kits and those felt the most rigid. And then I'd say, you know, TIJN and clearly.ca feel about the same in terms of like rigidity and quality. But again, here's what that looks like. Prescription is good. Um, I mean, I see clearly, so I think they got that they got it correct. I sent them the same prescription that I had for clearly.ca. So this is the Delia. Let me show you guys quickly again. Oh, sorry, this is the Dubria. Dubria, right? So what do you guys think? If you would like, please let me down. Let me know down in the comments below if you like the debris. Now I'm going to open up the second pair of glasses that I got, which is, again, this box. Really quickly, open that up too. Grab similar glasses case. One thing I noticed too, like over the years, clearly.ca, their glasses cases are getting... I guess cheaper and cheaper. There's they're cutting costs, which I'm, which makes sense. You know, it's not. It's most of the time I, I kind of toss these cases around. I I have a drawer filled with just glasses, and I have like different uh, areas in my house where I have like piles of glasses, not piles, but like assortment of glasses that I could reach from. Um, I, I definitely I wear glasses all the time. I barely the only time I'll wear contacts is when I have to play sports or if I'm doing something active, that is better when I don't have to wear glasses. So anyway, here is the Delia. Not as big as the Debria. I actually prefer this size more. And again, rigid, rigid frame feels nice, solid hinges. Like it's got the spring at the end. So it does tug on the on the arm. Similar with this guy. Oh, actually, no. Debria does not tug. There's no spring action on the arm. It's purely based on friction and tension. So, but I'll put on the Delia. Delia. And that's how that looks. I think the tortoise, for me, is a, it's a classic uh, colorway. I wanted to see what it would look like. You know, I wanted to get a solid frame blue because i have a bunch of reds i have browns and oranges and blacks so i got this blue one kind of to contrast everything else that i have and then i got you know a solid statement piece with the tortoise which i like i think it i like the shape and i like the the design you'll notice the way it sits i mentioned this before also in my other haul video that i like frames that sit between my eyebrows and my and my eyes so you kind of see the separation where they don't have a lot of overlap. Whereas the height of the debris is right on my brow line, which is I'm I'm not a huge fan of, but again, it's better real estate when you're looking around. I call it real estate. But this is nice. A lot of oop. I just dropped them. And they're fine. <laughs> I I did get um anti-reflective coating, anti-scratch coating. At least that's what they told me they put on them too. So 
Um, as, I, as I was mentioning, you do have extra real estate under the eye. So it's good clearance too. It's, it's still kind of big for my liking. This is the one I had before my last order from, uh, or one of my last order from clearly.ca, which is very small. I got this for a very light setup. And you can see what I mean about like the frame sitting between my brow and my eye. Still got, I, I can definitely see the frame when I'm looking around, but they're very comfortable and they're very light. Having said that, I like these. I'm probably going to wear these a lot for now because they're new and I like wearing new glasses. But uh, I like how these sit. This is the tortoise, and I'll show you again compared to the website, the Delia. It looks thicker there than you would than I would have imagined on the on the corners. But when I'm wearing them, it doesn't quite look like that. Does it show the sides too? Yeah, it does show the sides. Let me see if I can go here. So yeah, you got like this gold um, accent on the at the end of the at the end of the arm. You got this T accent at the end of this arm, and I'll go back to this view. So you get that on the side there, and you're not gonna see that detail <laughs> unless like I'm like right up to it. There, you guys can see it that way. I'll do that from now on. Anyway. So, what do you guys think? I like them. Um, pricing, pricing, guys. They're they don't look to be as cheap as clearly.ca or kits.ca. They are more fat. I I'd say they are more fashion pieces. They do provide measurements there on their website, materials, things like that. You can you can message them and chat with somebody. I didn't get to do that. It was all through email with me. They approached me through YouTube. So I can't really vouch for how how responsive they could be through their customer service chat. But uh, I mean, it's cool. They take Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and Stripe as payment. Um, I imagine the return process, I think, I mean, let's see. When you click on the contact page, I mean, it always makes me wonder. When you click on a contact page, any any website, clothing, shoes, whatever it is, um, if they don't have a, a, a physical address, I get a little, not skeptical, but I question, you know, I start to wonder where they're based and it's usually China. Um, but for returns, they usually provide some sort of address in maybe BC. I'm here in Canada, I'm in Toronto, Ontario. So I know that I've had to return things before that you'd ship, you'd ship them to BC. So it's a little bit more affordable. You're not shipping them all the way back to China. But seeing how there's no physical address on their website, I'm going to say that uh, it's, it's, it's likely just in China. So returns, um, uh, returns, return from customers have the right to apply 30 days delivery. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't even want to take the time to read it. <laughs> Hope you don't mind that. I mean, you guys want to have a look, see what your options are. Pricing is not that bad, but you know, sixty-one dollars, seventy-three dollars for frames, sixty-one fifty. I don't know if that that and they have a, a coupon code there too. I don't know if that includes the oh, non-prescription is free. Single vision is sixty-one fifty. So, so yeah, just the frame itself. These are just the frame prices, and then you add you add the cost of about 62 bucks for single vision. So like one uh, prescription, like what I have here or progressives that change color for 160 bucks. So it costs more than clearly.ca, costs more than kits.ca, but the pieces are more, I'd say they, there, there's a bit more thought into like the design. There's, it, yeah, it's very much like fashion forward or modern, um, more fashion oriented, like you can see based on their, on their Instagram too. Like that's the theme there is very much this, this, this fashion, high fashion, trendy, uh, yeah, like theme look versus let's say if you go to clearly, if you go to clearly, I guess it's kind of similar. I wonder if the, the. The um, 
the source or yeah if they're if they're sourcing them all from the same place i i know they are like a lot of glasses companies do but i do notice that with um clearly.ca it's more it looks more of like a user user content where like they're they're getting a lot more of people from instagram and they're reposting it you know versus tijn these, these are like photo shoots like professional photo shoots where they definitely want to put a little bit more emphasis on the style and the fashion. Anyway, hopefully that was valuable for you guys. I just wanted to show you if you've been wondering about TIJN, um, the glasses are nice. They, they're, they're good quality. They're high quality. Um, you know, if you guys are the type to go for brand names where Dolce Gabbana or Prada and, um, Giorgio Armani, and all those, uh, even, uh, what's the one that everyone, Ray-Bans and stuff. Honestly, guys, I used to think that the better brands back then made a difference in terms of quality. But after discovering Clearly Kits and now TIJN, there's really no need to be spending that much money on on glasses. Like, as long as the, the lens is, is the right prescription, you're going to get the same. I mean, they're, they're frames. And if, if you find something you like from Prada or Dolce Gabbana or Calvin Klein or whatever it is, you probably find something very similar on one of these uh, a lot more affordable brands like clearly.ca, T-I-J-N, kits.ca. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which one you like. This is the Dalia versus the Debria, right? Um, T-I-J-N, check them out on Instagram. Uh, if you have any questions, please... Feel free to ask down below in the comments. Please like the video if you went caught this far and you like this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel. That would help me out. If you guys want to do me a favor too, check out FJ5 Vlog. It's another YouTube channel of mine. And I'm trying to get that up to a thousand subscribers. Because it would make a huge difference for me too on YouTube. So please check out FJ5 Vlog um, on YouTube and subscribe to that channel. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.